사람들은 소녀를 그렇게 불렀어요. 오우. 괴물이다. 괴물. Dude, this gives me like um. 모든 이들에게 단단히 화가 난 소녀는 Tim Burton and Where the Wild Things Are. 이 필요했어요. 너는 늘내 옆에 있어줄 거지? 그럼 난 절대 도망치지 않아. 이래도? It's almost like she's breaking his wings so he can't fly away anyway as well too though. She's testing him though, man. Goodness. Damn, dude, mom. I. So yeah, all right. At least to begin with, naturally, if we've got a title called like Psycho Jiman Kentana, right? Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay to not be okay. Yeah, but like, a little bit more literally, like, it's okay if you're psycho. The other things that I know about this synopsis is that a lot of this deals with um, uh, mental health in certain ways and stuff like that. Now, I'm not necessarily like, there's certain things that I do know, certain things that I don't know. I'm not going to speak on things that I don't know and stuff like that but based on at least it's just pure speculation on the intro anyway it's like she was deliberately trying to test um or perhaps not even deliberately per se she was trying to test whether or not he was going to stay by her side regardless of if she actually wound up being a monster or not it could also be that he's run away for a different reason that it's not necessarily like her but she might believe that he's run away for a certain reason like this might just be her version of events in her head like this is how she saw it all play out but it's it's not actually like that because you know the reality happens to be different depending on and i'm just saying like if you suffer from certain things as well too sometimes um you know reality can become distorted for some people that's it's possible that that's the case <laughs> I like the uh, POV camera work. Is he autistic? Especially working in a factory, man, or some type of place where there's like some crazy stimulus and stuff like that. This would be hard. That's a bit uh. Red again. Bro, that cow is still mooing. That's. No, it's her mom. Kids like <laughs> Damn. Hold up a fucking minute. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna become a witch. Kid loses it. Runs off and shit. Fuck's sake. Builds character indeed, honestly. It's, um... Yeah, no, you can obviously see that she's been through it. She's obviously, uh, she's not... She's not just messing around out here, of course. She struck a nerve, or well, she had a nerve struck with her. They stepped on the princess landmine. And this is what we get, but also at the same time, yeah, all right, I can kind of start to see already that there's like, there's levels to this show. I guess she was touched. Yeah, <laughs> Oh, 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 I know he didn't just like pay her on the food. He did. <laughs> he 
did. He just laid that shit down on the scraps, dude. Hopefully between the cup and the and the plate, please. <laughs> Damn, she's even got like the... We even got the needle ready? Oh, don't do it. 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 Oh, <laughs> I'm not watching anymore. <laughs> That's something. Oh no, she still got it on her face. No. <laughs> ah yes. It's like a, it's like a being enveloped by petals. <laughs> yeah, the edits are good, man. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Why'd you cheat on me with that skinny model, though? She must just be talking about another person he was taking care of. <laughs> Are we driving with gloves in order to... Uh, just appear fancy? Or... Is it because of, like... Stimulus and textures, or is it because one of us potentially has OCD or habits related to like hygiene and stuff? Yeah, right, he'll die if she comes. She said that he's dead to her. I wonder what it is that uh, we've been through, man. What type of uh, horrific upbringing did she have? Obviously, she doesn't seem cool with mom. She did say if she's unwell, like she should come here as well too. So maybe. Hmm. Yeah, coffee tastes nice, doesn't it? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> He's drawing like really well too. <laughs> so he's a really big fan of her? <laughs> hey, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Younger than I look, but I'm not a child. <laughs> Bless you, bro. I'm younger than I look. But sadly, I'm not, I'm not a child. True, okay. So we'll meet her instead. Catch wind of her... Uh, Less than friendly nature, or less than conventionally friendly nature, should I say? You don't really seem to be like a super helpful individual here as well, too, though. You just kind of like seem like you've got spite for her. We ain't even trying to understand her, really. Then again, how close can you get to someone that keeps you at a Fucking skyscrapers distance, bro. Not even an arm's length. My older brother looks up to you. Hey. Oh, dude, the visuals. The visuals. Okay. It's beautiful. This is beautiful. Really pretty drama, man. Jeez. Ah, spring. How I wish. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And not in like the cringy way, you know what I mean? It's just... Scenes done really well. I knew that shit was gonna happen, bro. That's crazy. Have we met somewhere before? 
But just based on the intro, right? He must have been the boy who ran away from her. Nah, nah. Sir. Sir. How? 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 How are people escaping from their wards? How is this happening? Bruh. Like, I too worried about, like, the, the, the freaking hospital gossip and shit like that. Are you obsessed with women? Are you trying to hit on the people? Like, jeez, bro, do your job. Dude. She got a mouth on her, bro. <laughs> In front of kids, too. Yeah, fuck off, dude. That's crazy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. None? Come get him. That's crazy. Don't be a loser, don't be a bitch. Yeah, there it is. Come on. But no, not for him. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. No, no. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Oh, yeah, so you're gonna become a murderer right now, okay? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Get him, girl. Gotta stab your own father in the back, probably. Oh, we don't have time, sir. <laughs> sir, we do not have time. Oh, sure, yeah, she's your possession. Sorry about it. Yeah, fuck you, bro. It's like she's been through this before, too, man. Yeah, yeah, she's been through this before. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Wonderland, huh? God, the way shit is unfolding just backstage and it looks like it's like a fucking Wonderland or some shit, but yeah, fuck this dude, bro. You said you wanted to die, bitch. Pussy ass. Just wanted to kill his daughter, man. Damn, dude, I love how it's like... Frozen frame completely. Like time stopped. Hey, the title in the back is crazy. Polea. he's an insect. You're saying this? You're saying this? You just tried to choke her? Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> sure thing, bro. I thought you wanted to die, huh? But it's only cool if you take your daughter's life first, hey? Sure thing. There's only so much that we know about him. But like, this just kind of shows, man, that this is uh, like they like there's multiple different sides I think to these like to, to to just illnesses in general, but especially like ones where, um, you know, things can get really out of hand super quickly. Some people can have delusions. Some people can have like act like violent like they can they can act violently on those delusions as well too, which I think is um which I think is crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if he is, but he's obviously got like a very twisted, very distorted sense of reality to believe that like it's not okay to die at the hands of another person, but it's okay for me to kill myself and to kill my daughter at the same time. Like it's not okay for me to die at the hands of another person, but it's okay for my daughter to die at the hands of me because like she's my possession, like I brought her into this world, I can take her out type shit. 
that shit's kind of wild. Definitely quite shocking, I think, to to be confronted with as well too. <laughs> Bribe them, damn. <laughs> I'll seduce him. <laughs> Let's set a honey trap. Someone who will take the bullet. Okay. Mm. Fuck off, dude. This is why we keep getting fired, man, no? because he just keeps on taking the bullet. You're a piece of shit, dude. Saved a man and a kid's life. You're fired. Thanks. Fucking bullshit, bro. He doesn't need to be bribed, bro. He already lost his job, man. It's not like he's gonna go out and say some shit. The fact that we're already engaged in these types of like shady dealings, you know, money under the table type stuff, like, I don't know, man. Not the delivery. Like a sick chicken. <laughs> I don't like him too much. He kind of stresses me out. <laughs> this dude kind of stresses me out, bro. Jeez, man, that that look is crazy. Jeez, the wet hair. Oh my god, <laughs> Rio. Ah, uh, yep. Well, Alberto. <laughs> ah, yes, his bike's name is Alberto. <laughs> Alberto. Giddy up. That's crazy. She, she's really putting off that she doesn't care. At all. Thanks, bro. Makes me feel so much better. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. Mm -hmm. Butterflies will appear soon. Again. Ones with their wings cut off and shit. Yeah, we just remember the signature, huh? The autograph. Sign. Yep. He's, he's gonna be mad. Hey. 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 <laughs> Let me forge it real quick. He's gonna know, bro. He's gonna know, man. To our eyes, we would be like, yeah, it looks pretty good. Dickheads. <laughs> Dickheads. <laughs> Dickheads, bro. <laughs> He's gonna know the second he sees it. That's sad, bro. Let my man smile in peace. Fuck. But an interesting point with those sad eyes. Yeah, jeez, bro. Mm. 
뜨거워지고 더 유연해질 수가 있지 음. 행복은 바로 그런 자만이 쟁취하는 거야 Dude, the OST for this is goaded God damn, yeah You know, real quick This just shows that you can't know one without the other, man You can't truly know one without the other You can't truly know love without hate Or hate without love And likewise, you can't know happiness without suffering That bro, she doesn't want him near her But also at the same time, she's a little girl Yep, she cares about her dad this kind of shows as well too that kids are privy to this type of stuff, you know, man. It's not like you can treat them like they're ignorant and that they don't know what's going on. She knew her pops was unwell. Doesn't make him a bad person. That doesn't mean that he can't do bad things though. Right, so that time of year... It's got like terrible nightmares and it's about butterflies and, uh, this must have been what got him originally in that um factory or job or the, the school sorry that made us have to get him to leave anyway well <laughs> well how to tell who's driving I will beat all of them. Bro, I get so I get so fucking car sick. Literally says no parking. She's like, right. That's just a recommendation. <laughs> Damn, bro, she got the fit on. Gold heels. Love how we're hiding all our scissors. Because <laughs> she'll pick them up and probably try and cut her finger. Or some shit. <laughs> mm, I like it. <laughs> okay, she's got like an obsession with blades. <laughs> Loki kind of like love how she changes the moment she sees him. Yeah, I love how her entire demeanor changes when he's around, for good or for worse. <laughs> An escort is here to harass me. <laughs> Bruh. Easy. Whoa, relax. He said, what do you want, my body? You know what this just kind of shows, man? You know, you know what, sadly, this just kind of shows? She's like desensitized to that. Like, this is just how she's learnt that it is. Alright, well, if money doesn't work, sex, is that what you're after? Like, this just kind of shows uh, what her perception of reality is like to her, you know, like the way that we're working things out. And if anything, it's showing that um, perhaps people have tried to work things out with her like this before, or perhaps she's seen those close to her have to overcome disputes or differences or something like this before. Money is obviously like the best and the easiest thing that she's been able to land on, but it really paints like a very sad picture about the fact that to overcome disputes, ver verbal consolation is not enough. There's some other way, there's some part of yourself that you might have to pay with, especially if you don't have money. If you don't have the money to give, then it's your body as collateral instead. And yeah, it's crazy. I don't know, man. It really just makes me way more interested in her, if anything. Not just to see him. Yeah, you want to confirm. Mm. 
the opposite, right? I like to. That's why I followed her around. Isn't that crazy, man? It's like she wanted to keep him close anyway. With the chain, with the line and the hook. Of course. But he followed her voluntarily, even though he could have escaped at any time. Dude, these close-ups and the zooms are killing me. Holy shit, the tension's crazy. <laughs> 